Hey cuties! As the date quest campaign comes to a close, the dust is finally settled enough to see all the new evolutions that came by. Some of the topic's feature banners have already come and gone, but are not truly dead and gone. They are available in the permanent pool after all. Now, will these units tickle your fancy? One of the more straightforward units in this game, Kuma deals moderate damage to clear his column while piercing through evasion. All guaranteed out of the box at the start of each phase. 6,000 damage per square isn't enough to clear all weaker enemies, but it's in the ballpark. Just throw an additional amp or two, and he should be set. Because of this, Kuma fits right in among a standard team of 3 frontliner comm clears with a backline team damage player. Nothing remarkable, but he gets the job done. He's a bench warmer you can pull out for most innings. Echo. Finally past grieving over her first love, Echo now faces life with renewed sureness. In her passive state, Echo self reverberates, letting her inflict flat damage and heal her team a chunky thousand health. Before switching states, she steals herself with damage and debuff from it every turn, self heals periodically, and resists death once a phase. She echoes out like a gong when hit, reaching all opponents with up to 3000 flat damage in follow up turns. In this offensive sound state, her voice also rallies her allies with a high potential charge fill, demoralizes her enemies with defense mitt and movement denial, and re establishes her confidence with a refreshable debuff reflection. Her unique board wide double hit neither deals high damage nor is immediately accessible, so her best use cases are scarce. Oh, Echo. Moving past that heartache did not make you any less frail. Forcefully disrobing his prey before having his way with them over several winters has worked up Kimon Kamui's feral lust, now giving and receiving twice as much with each encounter. The first sighting of this bear leaves passerby frozen in their tracks, letting Kimon group up with his skin without chase. In combat, he bestows the boons of his nourishing flesh and protective fur, healing eyes while his dark impulses grow. Outside of battle, his kin indulge in his warmth and build their charge. All nearby enemies are left to freeze in the cold. In time, this pent up bear will give in to his lust as Wen Kamui, robbing his prey of their clothes, before draining out every last drop of his prey's vitality and energy. Kimun and Wen are situationally suited for longer challenges. They slowly play with their food one on one, taking turns to keep them restless all night. Can you take them both? Lightning round! The true star of this campaign are the featured equips that came by. But can this main act deliver a worthy performance? Three, two, one, start! It's Morin time! This isn't what I wanted! The Supreme Leader! This too is love. Brain Blast! It's Chilver! I smell a rat. Look for Joshi are coming! The new mob's charge looks pretty spicy. Maybe it was worth farming for them. Now, on to the 5 star dates. Tanks get their job done through a few ways, usually through mitigating damage while reversing any damage dealt through healing, though sometimes they can resist death entirely. This fireman can do all of the above while also offering a less common form of tanking, distance keeping. A Kia Gong In disables challengers, sharing his column, and pulls him closer for a team follow up, before pushing counter attackers away when the enemy turn begins. He can safely scoop his allies away in his arms further back, offering protection, displacement resistance, and sometimes healing. This protocol ensures his rescued victims can safely recover a maximum vertical distance away from any perils. While this fireman is built like a brick, with his own defenses and death resistance, Watch out for his lack of personal healing. He could use a helping hose or two from behind. Standing atop the corpses of slain heroes, 
The Dark Lord of Bald Mountain has reluctantly mastered controlling the frigid winds of death. Living in the harsh climb of the mountain has sickened his skin, mitigating damage, debuffs, and deaths once a phase. As the upstart heroes are struck by the cold steel of his blade, Charnobug stifles their offensive and defensive strength, drains their energy and vitality, and oppresses their advance. While allies to the Dark Lord will be spared, intruders will be wrapped in the embrace of frost, inescapable at Charnobug's full wrath, with an extreme wet wind making them take extra unmitigatable damage when hit. His instant large flat damage offers a unique advantage in some challenges, but the unreliability and difficulty to apply is as concerning as his isolationism. Will you be able to thaw his frozen heart? Tindalos. Back with mini soda of Tindalos Gaming! Now I hear some of you call me a hypocrite, accusing me of exposing your secrets while keeping hush on my own! To you fake fans out there, that's not how it is! Here, some footage of my mode of operation. Check it! See, I'm usually taking out someone's dirty laundry while remaining all sneaky-like, rousing my true fans to take up arms against these so-called perfect celebs. Some of my fans are very eager to blow their charge, so I gotta put down their pitchforks. Save it for the big expose, see? Check it! Every third turn, I put myself out there to expose all of these phonies for who they are. I challenge any to clap back. I ain't no coward. I'll take you all. That's it for this mini zone. Brought to you by Kamata Salmon Drinks. They're great! As a general rule, it's not typically worth pulling in day quest banners. They don't have the advantage of variety, and the featured units are all permanent, meaning the 4 stars can be freely redeemed with anniversary platinum tickets, and the featured 5 stars can be redeemed with the rainbow tickets everyone starts with. The date candidates this past campaign are in no way must have, even post evolution. If you're a major fan of these characters, however, then it could have been worth your time to pull up for some dupes, since these featured cards will never have more of a boost in some rate than during this time. That's all for now, cuties. Catch you next time!